we're going to mix powder with diluent so that we mix a powder med into a solution that we can inject into our patient. So the med that we're going to do that with is called Solumedrol. The order that we have is for Solumedrol, 125 milligrams intramuscular stat. This vial itself has 500 milligrams, and on the back it'll tell you, of course this one's very obvious, that we need to add two cc's of diluent, which is just a fancy word for something that dilutes out the solute. So I'm going to take off the covers, make sure that I alcohol, so I'm going to rip down the sides and open my alcohol to make a sterile field. I'm going to alcohol off the top of both of the vials, making sure that I have plain diluent here to mix in, because that's what it tells me that I need to do. I'm going to get the syringe out that I need to do this with, and the first thing I need to do is make sure that I draw up enough diluent. The order is for two cc's, so I put my needle cover down in a sterile field, draw back to two cc's, put two cc's of air in, flip and draw out two cc's of diluent into the syringe. Now because this needle is very big and long, with a large gauge, there will be a big air bubble, so you may have to go back and forth using turbulent flow and tap out the air bubbles when you're done. So I'll drop a little extra, tap all the air bubbles out to the top, make sure they come off the plunger as well. My air bubbles are all at the top. I'm going to clear it out to make sure I have exactly two cc's of diluent because I do not want to have any extra because I'll change the concentration of the drug in here. Now my two cc's is going to be added to the powder, so I go in at 90 degrees. I've already alcoholed off the top, so it's ready to go. I'm going to take out my needle, cover it and set it down. As long as the needle's covered, I can set it down on a clean thing, on a clean surface. I'm going to rotate it the same way that we do other meds like insulin to make sure we don't get a lot of air bubbles in the powder. And I'm going to mix it like this until the powder is dissolved in the liquid, which normally takes between 5 and 10 seconds. For some medications, it's much longer. Now if I have not touched the top, I can go right back in and draw the amount of medication I need to. If I had accidentally touched the top, I could use this alcohol wipe and re alcohol wipe the top. Now I have 500 milligrams of drug in 2 mLs of solution. What I need to do is figure out how much 125 milligrams is. You can count backwards, saying there's 500 milligrams in 2 mLs, 250 mLs, excuse me, 250 milligrams in 1 mL, and then count back again and say there's 125 milligrams per 0.5 cc's, or 0.5 mL, so that's what I'm going to draw up for my MET. I take off my needle cover again, set it down on my sterile field. Now this is already pressurized because I added solution to this, so I don't need to drop air. If you accidentally did, that would be fine if you dropped the 0.5 cc's, but you do not have to. I insert my needle, I flip it over, and I drop the 0.5 mLs that I need to get the exact dose. Readjust for any air bubbles. And there are none. Cover the needle, make sure you keep sterile. And before I go to administer for the patient, one last time I'm going to check. I have 0.5 cc's of medication and go back and do the math one more time to make sure that you did the calculation right to make sure that you have the right dose. And I have 0.5 mLs and I need 0.5 mLs. And that's how you reconstitute a medication for administering parenterally.